Hi guys, welcome to another free game Friday. This time we have Cross Out Craft Ride and Destroy. Let's read the glorious f***ing words. Join the open beta of Cross Out, the post-apocalyptic MMO action game. Craft your unique battle machines from dozens of interchangeable parts and destroy the enemies in explosive PvP online battles. Guys, when someone says MMO, which means massive multiplayer online, I think of tens, nay, hundreds, nay, thousands of players. Not f***ing 12 like you get in this, 6 a side or whatever it is, or is it 8 a side, 16, I don't know. It's not massive. It's not, Just because it comes from a big pool doesn't make MMO. Everybody just bans anything around now. Oh, it's an MMO. It's an MMO. It's an, it's an, it's an, it's an MMO. Yeah, it's got 16 players, MMO. It's not an MMO, guys. I don't give a f of all. Yes, you're going to get the fanboys come on saying, no, 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 Sixteen players, I think. I didn't count them. A few cars going around shooting each other. It's free. It's been out a while, but it's just come out on Steam. What you do, you start off with a shitty little chassis of this like pickup truck with a couple of machine guns on it and you head out into the bland open world which is a little map with a few hills and a few rocks on it and you shoot other cars in this bland little world and whoever wins by shooting the most cars when all the other cars are dead you win or there's a circle with a flag in it well it's not even a flag it's a flare and that's their base you've got your base so it's CTF capture the flare and you just stand in there. It's a bit like domination, actually, not capture the flag. Uh, you stay in the, their enemy place for until the timer goes, and you win the game. So there's a little bit of strategy in there, and it's fun. I had fun. I played this for three and a half hours. Uh, not a lot of time for a <clears throat> oh, but I have played it for a bit, and it's fun. I had some laughs. I had some cries. I had some whams, and. You know, overall, guys, it was a fun, fun time. Until, until, until the monster of free-to-play games made its appearance, guys. Oh, yeah, it was all going well. It was all going well. I'd upgraded my little van. I'd put a different type of machine gun on. Then I upgraded it and put a shotgun on. Then I got a totally new chassis and rebuilt my whole thing from the beginning to the end. Uh, obviously, there was only one of the front wheels would turn because I didn't have a spare ST small so I just took this small one on which didn't work at all so I could only steer with one wheel but that was fine for a few battles but once I got me ST once it once it dropped from the RNG machine I was able to steer with the front I had four doors on it two welded side horizontally rather on, on the side and it was a bit of a mess but it did the job and it was doing quite well but then guys like I said the monster of free to play uh, loomed on me and blew me up in the form of this guy who had four guns uh, one of them was an artillery piece and he had big wheels and a big chassis and i thought hang on a second 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 what are you doing here what are you doing here oh yeah of course bad matchmaking bad matchmaking or had he just bought it because guys this is so pay to winny it's so the grind is a really bad grind in this guys it's just painful it's painful it's fast the games would go over quickly but it's a painful slow ass grind and i just can't be asked with it it's not good enough a game to warrant such a slow grind with bad matchmaking and pay to win and you know you can just buy these brilliant cars tanks with great weapons on it and then just go and lol everybody and What's the point of doing that as a, as a new player? It's just give us your f***ing money. Thanks. Bye. We don't care if it f***s up the balance. You know, and it does. It's, it does mess up the balance. Uh, it's not a balanced game at all. Uh, there was people I was shooting and I couldn't even damage them. You know, they were just like, what are you doing, man? I've got way, way more hit points than you and bigger guns and probably a bigger penis. And then it, was, it sucked. And I died with my little... <clears throat> It was fun for a couple of hours and then it became apparent that I didn't want to play this game anymore because, like I say, the grind just wasn't worth the fun that I was getting out of it. I enjoyed the building. The building of the cars is good. You, you've got a, um, a power level on each car, so you can't go past that. That's why you can't just stick like unlimited guns on it. Um, each gun has a power drain and it, it starts on with you only have a maximum of seven on your power. 
So, and I think the guns do two and a half each or something. So, uh, no, it can't be, or you wouldn't get it. I think they do two each, two, two power each. So you can have uh, three guns on, and then we have one power left for something else. You also have a, a tonnage. You can't go over the tonnage. Uh, that's to stop you putting unlimited armor on it. But you throw down a chassis and you can glue chassis together. Actually, you don't glue them. It'll be welding. Weld chassis together. Glue. And uh, you can, you know, you can make anything you want. I've seen some really ridiculous builds out there. And you get radars and radios and you have power uh, generators to put more power in there. You have ammo in later stages. You have guided missiles, unguided missiles, huge ass bazookas howitzer things all sorts of stuff on your huge machine guns probably lasers and uh i'm probably just made that up but there's, there's probably lasers but obviously you'd have to play the game for a long long time or pay to win to get anywhere near that level and to be honest with you guys the fun is pretty short-lived it gets pretty boring fast i mean i was done after in fact i'll tell you how bored i was after two hours i actually suggested we go grocery shopping you know, it's a bad job when you prefer to go grocery shopping rather than play a game. And that's what happened with this. I just couldn't stand the grind after two hours. So, And you have to make an account or link your Steam, Steam account uh, to this game. Uh, the game has been out a while, like I say, but not on Steam. Uh, and I think it used to be um, pay-to-play, but now it's gone free-to-play, which is why it has all the free-to-play modelling systems in it. Um, I wouldn't mind if you could just buy cosmetics, but you can't. You can buy kick-ass tanks and all manner of stuff from the shop, and that's why it's an instant no from me. But there you go, guys. If you want a bit of free fun, it's you know it's a short download. It's not. I can't remember how big it is. It's not very big, uh, as you can see by the graphics. It's, you know they're not very good. Um, but you know you'll have a bit of a fun for a couple of hours. Uh, so if you've got nothing better to do go and give it a download if you're looking for something long term forget it because the free to play and the bad matchmaking is going to f*** you up for that but it is a fun little game and it's free and so that's why it's on friday because it's free game friday